Hello my crafty friends, it's me Lisa and I thought it would be fun to share a few Cricut tutorials with you. Today I wanted to share with you how you can upload a font that is not already in Cricut Design Space from outside of Cricut Design Space and then get some really pretty fonts. It all just goes away and things are to say oh baby so this right here, this is Cricut Design Space. And I've already signed in, but I want to actually go and find a font that I want to use to upload into my Design Space. So I'm gonna go to Google, cause that's what I do. And in case you were wondering, this is a laptop PC. I do not have a Mac, so this is instructions for uploading new fonts for a PC. So. One place that is really fun to go find fonts is dafont.com. So we're going to go to dafont and we are going to find a font. <laughs> I made a rhyme. And they have so many fun different fonts to choose from. They have fancy, foreign look, I mean, all kinds of different fonts. And actually, I kind of like this butterfly font. That is really pretty. So if you click on the font that you like, then it shows you all of the characters of that font collection. And I like this one, so I'm gonna hit the download button. It's going to download it onto my computer and it puts it into a zip folder. So once it's done doing its downloading, then these are the selections. And if you click on one of them, it will open it up. And this shows you what the font is like. Then you come over to the top corner and you hit the install button and it will install the font onto your computer. So now we have this really cool font called Butterfly that is on my computer. So I can go ahead and close that, close that, I'm just gonna minimize the font and now to have this actually take place in Cricut Design Space, then I need to shut this off because it won't automatically import it. Ooh, now you can see my computer desktop. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we have shut down the Cricut Design Space and we're going to restart it. And now we're back. So then we're gonna come over to a new project. And then these, this is the sidebar that has all the options. And we're gonna go to text and we've got a text box. So I'm just gonna write hello. And then if I click off the text box, then it puts a little box around the hello and I can actually make it bigger and move it around in my workspace area. So I wanna move it over here so we can see what we're doing. So I come over to the top under font and I'm gonna change the font and I wanna find that butterfly. So I'm gonna to come to system and I'm going to go to the search bar and we're gonna type in butterfly, if I can spell. And there is butterfly. So then I click on that and it changes the letters to the butterfly font. So I can make it as big as I want. That is pretty easy, don't you think? And hopefully that shows you how simple it is to find some new fonts and then get them into your Cricut Design Space for a lot of fun projects. And be sure to come back in the future because I'm gonna have a whole series of different Cricut tips for you if you're just getting started with your Cricut machine. 